Hey there, Cougar fans. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Cougar Cave. My name is Phil Edmonds, the play-by-play -play voice for the Burlington Cougars. Tonight, I'm joined by defenseman Jack Harper. Jack, thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, we'll get into the playoffs in a little bit, but let's let's touch on first your your first stint with the Burlington Cougars, your rookie season in junior back in the 2018-2019 season. Mark Juris comes on in camp as a uh, coach coming back after a year off. Uh, your rookie year in Burlington, uh, what were your takeaways that year? Oh, it seems like it was so long ago. Um, but I think for me, I was kind of, I definitely started off as any 16-year-old would be, definitely nervous and not sure how it would go. But I think um, once I got a couple games under my belt and felt uh, that I was able to play at this level, uh, I started to really enjoy it. Um, it was a lot of fun and uh, a good step up for me from minor hockey for sure. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. Overall, a successful year. Pretty big goal for you in the playoffs that year too that ended off that season. Mm -hmm. But then in the summer, you end up signing with the Flint Firebirds in the OHL. How did that come about? And what was it like playing for a home base team south of the border? Yeah, so that uh, so I was drafted by Flint um, when I was 16, and um, in my case, I I didn't play in the OHL my 16 year old year, um, and they they had asked me to sign, um, kind of I want to say part way through my first year in Burlington, and at that point I didn't know if I wanted to go to the O or to school, so I think uh, in the summer uh, I just kind of finally decided or kind of finally decided that. I wanted to play in the OHL and um, for sure happy I did. And then as far as uh, playing for a team south of the border, it was definitely different um, for sure. Um, kind of just a different uh, at, uh, atmosphere down there. Um, but again, um, it was a lot of fun. My uh, The family I lived with, the Hubers, were really great to me. So that made it that made it all good. So then you spent some, you left Flint, you spent some time with the Guelph Storm and the Kitchener Rangers, both historic teams in the OHL and a lot closer to home for you too. What yeah. was it like playing for those franchises? It was special. Um, uh, me being from Guelph, getting to play for the Storm for, it was just, a, it felt like a short time, but getting to play for them was for sure special um, just because growing up, but I, I would always go to the games and whatnot. So that was really cool. And then playing for Kitchener, um, there's not many better places to play, in my opinion, in junior hockey than at the Kitchener Auditorium. So that was, again, really special and something I'll definitely never forget. And now you're finding yourself in your senior year back in Burlington here as a Burlington Cougar. What are some things that have changed other than going from the rookie Jack Harper to now a veteran? It's... Uh, obviously we switched arenas and have a bit of a better dressing room set up. But other than that, a lot of things are the same. Um, same coaching staff, same staff, really. Everyone involved is is all the same. So I think for me, it's just um, I went last time I was here, I was 16 and playing with uh, guys a lot older than me. And now I'm kind of the old guy in the room. So that's, that's definitely the biggest difference for sure. But um, yeah, it's a lot of fun and a great group of guys. And the guys are waiting for the second round to start. Cougars wrapped up the first round last week, four straight games against the Markham Royals, a sweep for Burlington. Markham had a hot end to the season there, hot second half. Why do you think the Cougars was so successful in the first round? I think we were just excited for playoffs to start. And I think um, we showed that we're a really good team. Um, we didn't, we, de we didn't play our best hockey um, in my opinion that whole series, but I think uh, where it just shows how deep we are, even if we're not playing our best, we can still, still uh, find a way to win. So I think going forward, um, having that, that ability to know that if we're not playing great and we can find a way to win, then that's, that's definitely going to work in our favor going forward. Georgetown Raiders next for the Burlington Cougars. Based on those last couple of games with Georgetown in the regular season, it's going to be pretty neck and neck. It's going to be a top series. What are your thoughts going in against Georgetown? And what are some keys for Burlington here? I think they're definitely a good team, um, but they they might have finished ahead of us in the standings. But uh, I, I, um, 
personally, and I think speaking for everyone else on the team, we definitely don't feel like underdogs. Uh, I think we're excited for this matchup and we're, we're eager to get going. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be a tough series, but I think we're definitely really looking forward to it. You look at the rink there in Georgetown, it's a bit of a smaller ice, very small neutral zone there. A couple mm -hmm. strides, you go zone to zone. What are some advantages and disadvantages to playing on a smaller rink? I think um, offensively, it's, it's probably easier just to get up and down the ice and maybe catch the, catch the opposing team kind of flat footed in some cases with it being that small. And then obviously it's the opposite for defense. Um, if you don't have a good gap or if you're, if you're caught, um, then if the, the rank that small, it's kind of hard to, hard to uh, play defense if you're not gapped up well. So I think there is definitely advantages and disadvantages, but um, it's just two teams playing on the same size ice. So can't really make any excuses one way or another. But this being your senior year now, any plans for Jack Harper next year? Are you thinking of going to school or is Europe an option for you? Uh, right now, kind of just focusing on um, going to school. I think uh, I've, been, I've been in contact with schools. Um, so my plan now is kind of to play out these playoffs and then um, – go as far as we can here in Burlington and then kind of focus on that for myself. What's one of your favorite memories as a Burlington Cougar and, and one member or favorite memory in your time in the, in the O? Uh, I think definitely my Burlington favorite memory is the overtime winner against Buffalo. My, um, my 16 year old year, I still throughout the last few years, whenever that video pops up, I just show everyone around me. Um, I'm sure the guys, Yes, this year I've shown all, everyone on the team. Um, so I think, yeah, as far as Burlington goes, that's my favorite memory. And then uh, in the OHL, my first goal was pretty special for sure. Uh, the only bad part was it was during COVID, so there was no fans. But um, either that or uh, last year in round one, we beat London in uh, game seven in overtime. And I was lucky enough to get an assist on that goal. So I think that along with my first goal or my favorite OHL memories for sure. Definitely some good clips. And I've seen that goal, the COVID goal, the Kitchen Rangers goal. That was a pretty nice goal for your first OJ. Yeah, a little spooky, but I'll take it. Absolutely. Uh, Jack, thanks for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you around the rink. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks for having me. Thank you.